Take a deep breath in. And we're going to hold space. And then we're going to let go of space. In the old days, we held space. But we got to remember that space exists whether we hold it or not. So if you want, acknowledge the space there. Take a deep breath in. Sit present. And acknowledge the space that already exists. And if you notice there was a freedom to the idea of releasing, holding space, ask yourself what else you're holding on to. Listen for a second. You might notice yourself holding on to a part of something that wants to do this right. You don't have to hold on to that. You can do this meditation wrong. Maybe there's a part of you that's holding on to time. How long is this meditation going to be? Imagine you don't have to hold on to that. Imagine a you that's scared someone will be upset if you don't do it the right way, or if you don't do what they say, or if you don't do what you think you need to do so they don't get upset. Allow yourself to release the hold for that. Because whatever someone else feels is theirs, not yours. And if you notice that you might have an ability to let go of things, ask yourself, who is the one holding on? Who is this little person inside of you that's holding on to other people's opinions, the what am I going to do energy, time, doing everything right. Take a second and just through observing, just through being, just through listening, see if any part of you sees or just feels the energy of the holding honor. Who's the one holding on? Now, don't try to find it. Don't go hunting for it. Don't search for it. Instead, be and receive when it's ready to show itself to you. Just be a space. And any energy that's trying to do this right is the holding honor. Any energy that's hunting is the one holding on. So 
So just be. And instead of doing anything, watch. Watch whatever wants to be seen. Watch all the thoughts that arise. Watch the ideas that show up. Watch all the fears that arise. Watch any frustration that arises. If you feel like you can't get to the place I'm talking about, know that that's fine and be present for the little one who's trying to get. And as you observe, see if you can observe anything under it. Like if it goes, if I don't get this, I'll be abandoned. If I don't get this, I'll be shamed. What is yours? If I don't get this, I'll be abused. get this, my mom and dad will divorce again. If I don't get this, someone I love will die. That energy that needs to do it the right way, if you listen long enough, always has something under it. The terrified fear of doing it wrong. Be present for what that fear is. If in this meditation, you see the one that's holding on, let go of that. You be present while the one holding on is released. Allow the one holding on to just pass like a cloud or get really close to you or abandon you. Just be. And again, if you feel, am I doing this right? Just let that float around. This isn't about calming the mind nearly as much as it's about allowing everything that's buried inside to come out. 
or whatever wants to come out to come out. But we don't want to force it out or decide to tell it it's time to come out and try to get to some other side that doesn't exist. We just allow everything. for you now to just feel what's here. Make the things that are here interesting. You don't need a high. You don't need to just fall in love. You don't need to just hit the jackpot. You don't need to get seen by someone else. Just make the now enough. The fact that you're breathing, the fact that your heart's beating, the air that could be touching your arms or the sensations in your body, and whatever else is here, whether it's your thoughts or sensations, you could just sit here and see 500 thoughts and just be present. You could see a thing that thinks you're doing it wrong. You could see an energy that doesn't get this and just let it be there. the idea that there are things here that you might not be able to see. Like maybe higher levels of love are moving into your body and undo the egoic need to understand that. Maybe true worthiness is entering your body. Maybe abundance. is moving into your body. And maybe for these things to move into your body, it at one point, now or later today, might have to purge some of what you thought you were. So after this meditation, there could be a little bit of pain or sadness. That's okay. We're upgrading. allow, allow any energy that's scared, allow any magical new energy that's showing itself, allow potential that you don't understand. For real power, allow yourself to not know what's happening. I don't know is one of the strongest sentences a person can say. It opens possibility. Undo the need to know. And weirdly on the other side of it, 
is a different type of I know. I don't know the specifics of how this will play out, but I know that it's right. The doer that wants to do it right is trying to know circumstantial specifics. Yeah, but who will the person be? What will they say? How much will I make? How do I do this? And what if we traded that by saying it's okay if that energy doesn't know? For the slow connection to the knowing. And everything that's trying to do it the right way or that's falling apart or feels like it's breaking off or is kind of floating away is that old energy that needs to protectively know so it doesn't get hurt. And imagine that you're becoming the new I know. Even this new I know can be a space of safety for all of the energies that you were connected to earlier that didn't know. See if you can even a little bit merge with the energy that knows. What it knows You can't see with the mind. Everything you don't know that you're worried about, you can see with the mind. I don't know if they'll hurt me. I don't know if they'll shame me. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. That's okay. The knowing is here. Become the knowing for what you were connected to before this meditation started. Become the knowing. And even if you just up this 1%, you're making progress. Listen to the knowing that's already here. And know this knowing is always here. It's just a question of what we're paying attention to. See, if we fill up with this energy of knowing, we fill up with the now. There's less and less room while there still is the presence for the lingering fears in the body. They can still dance around, they can still float by, they can still exist. But those deep-rooted fears of what someone might do to you or say to you or how they might respond are being replaced by the unconditional love of the now, just by you listening to it. It becomes a higher connection for you, an actual source of connection And if you listen to it long enough, it can slowly replace the ego's need to connect to everyone else's egos. It just lets everyone be who they are. 
And it lets that little energy that's holding on to everybody be seen by the knowing that you are. And that's all that little scared energy was looking for. That energy that's saying, please don't leave dad or don't hit me mom or don't yell at me. That little energy is just needing to know that it's seen. And today you can be the one that sees it. That's all it needs. So see it with that unconditional love that it's never felt. It only knows how to chase egoic energy. It wants to be seen by people who maybe can't see it. But today, it's being seen. This is all it wanted. So see everything that's here and imagine that the body has permission to bring to light whatever it wants and you're the light. You're the light. You are the attention that you're giving it. Everything that you can see is an energy that's trying to break off of you. You're the one that sees it. If you feel pain, it's because something's being seen that's scared to be seen. So you gotta be a safe space. Let it know it's okay if you're scared to be seen. Let it know I'm here with you even if you don't wanna be seen. Let it know that it's loved even if it's got its back turned to you. Let it know whatever it feels is fine you're here with it no matter what. Unconditional love is what you are. You don't even have to say words like, I see you. It knows when it's seen. So much is happening that you don't have to egoically do. And because it doesn't feel like a big giant result that you can egoically measure, you might not know something's happening, but so much is happening. Receive possibility without the specifics. Receive the energy of a new life, but without the specifics. Receive the idea that this could be one of the first moments of your life that some of that energy is a little bit more seen and you've never ever seen what life can do with some of that energy released. 
every moment up until this meditation, those energies have been buried in the body. And if just a little bit of them are seen, if you notice a pattern or you cry something out or you release something, even if it's just one little thing out of thousands of things, then this is the beginning of your life without that thing in there, without your resistance to that thing, without your judgment of that thing. This is only you seeing, and you seeing brings darkness to light. And for you to see, you need to move to the energy that sees everything. Just by listening to the energy that sees everything. Listening to the space that's here. You no longer have to hold space. Hear space. Feel space. Breathe space. You might feel a little bit of sadness. That's fantastic. You might feel a little bit of anger. That could be progress. Maybe it was stuck, repressed rage moving to anger. And maybe if you feel sadness, it's moving from anger to being seen and released through tears. It's all perfect. Whatever you feel is part of the plan. Finally, the energies in your body are allowed and not pushed down for other people's potential reactions. Finally, they're seen. You don't need anyone else to see it. You don't need anyone else to see it. This whole thing is between you and God, and we've been trained out of that. We need this middleman to get us. We need to be validated through money or success or the right relationship. Finally, someone who can see me. I got someone better. You. Finally, you see it. All it wants to be is seen by you. The energy in your body doesn't need to be seen by your spouse. It doesn't need to be seen by your ex or your friend or your parents. Those are middlemen that you use as permission to see it. Finally, someone saw me. Then you saw what they saw and you saw it. Let's let go of the middleman and start the slow, sure practice of just seeing yourself directly. You can still have a relationship. You can still have friendships. But imagine how powerful they'd be if you see you first and you bring a new authenticity to those connections to those relationships and that you forgive the part of you that didn't know this we're all in the work together and we're all getting better and you don't ever need to ask yourself why didn't i know this before the reason is because you weren't supposed to you weren't supposed to know anything differently than you knew before. Because those things that you had happen, those things that you experienced, were where you were. 
And now we're learning new things. And we welcome new things. Life doesn't have to be a repeat every day and running the same patterns. You can have a new life every day. You're so much more than what you think you are. You're so much more than the greatest thing you think you are. The biggest thing you can see for yourself, the biggest vision is nothing compared to what you are. One of the things that'll really help escalate that is the slow, sure practice of connecting to the knowing and the allowing of the I don't know. If you started spending more time doing this than hanging out with someone you don't want to hang out with, scrolling through Facebook all day, what do you think would happen to your life in a hundred days? What would happen if you were really connected to that knowing? What would happen if that inner child that's always been trying to be seen by the outside was fully seen by you and that became a consistent knowing? What would happen if you seeing that energy caused it to move to the light and parts of it slowly dissolve and leave. Because they're seen by you, because they're accepted, because you've graduated to a new level of unconditional love. Bring patience and imagine every day you go up a half a percent to a percent as you listen to the knowing. Well, in 100 to 200 days, you're fully changed. You become the knower. And you will be shocked at how much everything outside of you molds around your knowing. How many people you used to be scared to say no to will suddenly have a new respect for you and a new level of listening for themselves or how some people that might have been clinging on to you might be scared of the light you're bringing or we're going to do something to you. They're going to just leave because they don't match the vibration of the knowing that you have. Imagine if you're making space for other people who are doing the same work as you to join you to be a part of your life, but not based on fear and attachment, based on expansion and love. You will only be able to be seen at the level you see yourself. If you want someone else to see something, that's a sign you don't see it. See it, let go of them seeing it. See it. Let go of the need for someone else to see it. And many times you'll be shocked when suddenly they come to you and go, you know what I realized? And you'll already know what they're going to say. It's what you just realized. Be here right now for this energy. Feel the energy that's just saying everything's okay. And imagine that any energy that comes up goes, yeah, but this, this, this just hasn't been fully seen by you. Don't pry it open, let it open when it's ready. Don't try to speed anything up. That's not you anyway. Now, 
be present for the idea that for almost all of our lives, this knowing, loving, unconditional energy has been here for us and we've ignored it almost 99% of the time. Sometimes we use it a little bit just to get someone else to see us egoically. Dear God, please, what if we move past that and just merge with this? Just receiving a thank you, just giving a thank you to this energy for being 100% available. And we ignored it because we were trying to get someone else to see us. And know that it brings no shame and no guilt. Just bring a gratitude vibe. Wow, you've always been here and you're always here. And realize that you get back from it the level you connect to it. If you spend a couple hours a day listening to it, your life will be dramatically different. Those little egoic things will show up, but they'll be a little bit quieter because you'll slowly be more and more the knowing and not the fear. So take a deep breath. Receive it. No matter what you're feeling, whether it's sad, off, amazing, calm, you're supposed to be feeling that. It's fine. Everything's passing. It's fine. Maybe if something feels off, that means later you're gonna release something and the emotional baggage will be a little bit lighter. It's okay, let yourself have a triggered day or let yourself have a calm day or let yourself have an amazing day. Every day, let yourself have whatever you're having. Don't try to fix stuff immediately. Let yourself feel. You can't grow without being triggered. It's just a part of the process. It's the goodbye to energies that you used to be that you aren't anymore. It's allowed. Open your heart to being able to be triggered. being off and then just be present with it and be in the unknown. And I don't know what I'm doing with this. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to listen to it. Then later that night, you'll have a deep sleep and you'll wake up and you'll meditate again. It'll be a whole new world, totally different. So receive whatever's here right now. Breathe all of it in. You and the core of you is bigger than all of it. Nothing's bigger than you. Breathe in, breathe out, and be. And breathe thanks to all of it. Breathe thanks to that little you that's always scared to do it wrong. Thank you for protecting me through all of that. Thank you. I'm right here with you. As I meditate into this, I'm not abandoning you. I'm hearing you fully. And I'm appreciating you. Thank you, people pleaser, for keeping me safe the best you could. I got it from here. Thank you, little energy who's scared to get hit for doing everything you could from a five-year-old's perspective to make sure I'm not hit again. Thank you for protecting me. We don't need to overcome it. We need to love it, appreciate it, and accept it. Nothing but gratitude. And as time goes on, you realize gratitude isn't what you do, it's what you are. The longer you meditate, the more it just shows up. You just start to be thankful. You can't help it, it's just showing up.
Go back to feeling whatever's here, your heart beating, sensations. There's like an itch in the back of your head or there's like just, you notice a fan going on or thoughts or pain. It's okay. Just tell it thank you. Be open and don't need to know why. Be open and don't need to know what. Be open to what's trying to happen for you. And release the need to understand the specifics. Become the receptivity to all. Hear what you want. Hear what's true for you. Hear what you feel. Deep breath in. Release it. Know everything's perfect. Even if it's chaotic, it's perfect. Another deep breath in. Get present to what's here now. Notice the chair under you. If you're sitting on a bed, notice that. If you're on a walk, notice that. Be present. Feel the vibe of thank you. Take a deep breath in. Release it. Be open to so much more can happen as you do this work. And open your eyes. Welcome back.